Hey guys, what's up? It's Dakota and I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you my everyday makeup routine and this is it right here. You're looking at it right here. So if you guys want to see that, just keep on watching and I'm going to get right on with the video. So enjoy and make sure to subscribe right down below. So the first thing I do is I take the Too Faced Hangover Primer. So I'm going to take that and just prime pretty much just in the center of my face because that's mainly where everything really tends to like get a little wonky sometimes, you know? So I need a little bit more. Okay. Alrighty, there's that. And then I just spray my face with some primer water. Oh gosh, I dropped my honeydew meal. And I'm using the Smashbox um, So Chill Coconut. And then I just kind of air it out, you know. Um, so then the next thing I do is I take the L'Oreal infallible pro glow 24 hour foundation and the born this way in vanilla and this one's in sand beige and i combine these two together because this one is like um a cool tone and this one is like yellowy if that makes any sense so i mix them both to get like the perfect shade for me my brush oh there it is all right and then I just apply that to my face So right now I'm using a flat top brush also to blend this in. The next thing I do is take this um, Sephora 55 brush and I just kind of push it into my skin. Okay, so the next thing I do now is I am going to put on just a itty bitty tiny bit of the Tarte um, Shape Tape Concealer and I literally just do an itty bitty amount because this is very thick and it goes a long way and then I just kind of put a little here down the bridge of my nose right here and right on my chin. This just makes sure to lighten up my face a little bit and makes it look just, I don't know, a lot more lighter. It doesn't look so dark and harsh. And then uh, I take my Mario Badescu and I just spray it on my beauty blender like this. And I just kind of squeeze it because I don't want the whole thing wet. And, and then I just kind of press it into my skin like so I just blend it out in like a triangle like form type thing so yeah I'm just gonna do that everywhere so the next thing I do is take the Kat Von D Lock It setting powder and it is translucent and I just set my under eyes and any of my like smile lines basically um, just anywhere that I don't want to crease or any of the places that really crease on my face. And I also set my eyelids.
So the next thing I do is I take a large fluffy Eco Tools brush and I take the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless powder and I just take it and push it onto my brush and then I just kind of set that on my face so the rest of my face isn't really um, all like sticky. Okay, so the next thing I do is take my hula bronzer and I take my bronzing brush and this is by BH Cosmetics and I just kind of bronze up my skin. So then I take the Maybelline Fit Me blush and this is in, oh, this is the shade 35 Coral. Okay, if I can open it, that'd be great. Oh, got it. So then I take a flat top brush and just kind of brush this up my cheeks. It has a sheen to it, if you can see, sort of. So I just kind of keep it up on my cheekbones, sort of. And it kind of builds in with the highlight and gives me color, so I really like this. Like, honestly, if I wanted to, I could wear this and just no highlight, and I would still look glowy and, like, really, like, nice. So, now I'm going to take the e.l.f. highlight in Moonlight Pearl, and I broke the top of it so that... Okay, I dropped a brush. <laughs> I broke the top of it, so that's cool, but I'm just going to take this, um... It's actually a setting brush, but I'm going to spray it with my Mario Badescu and highlight a little bit. So the next thing I'm going to do is take my hula bronzer again and I flip it so the brush doesn't fall out and I take this really big fluffy brush like as you can see it's really big and I just dip it into the hula bronzer just a little tap it oh my god tap it off and I just kind of put it on my eyelids just so I have a little bit of color to my eyes and they don't look like dead. Why does it look so dark on camera? Jeez. I'm just gonna... It's not this dark in person, but yeah. So, the last thing I'm gonna do is apply some mascara and do my eyebrows. Um, so, I'm gonna do that real quick. By the way, I'm using the Lorac Pro Mascara and Anastasia Dip Me Brow in um, Taupe. So also I'm going to take this Shen XO palette, I don't really know how to say her name, and I'm going to take this second shade and just put it in my inner corner to brighten up my eyelids, not my eyelids, but my eyes. 
just makes me look more awake, okay? Now I'm gonna do my brows. And don't forget to set your face with Kat Von D Locket setting spray. Forgot that. Savior. All right, so this is the final look. It's just that simple. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more videos like this one, comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see because I want to post more. I just don't know what to post. All right? Bye. Make sure to like it. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I'm so weird.